First, we've got project templates, and they have been so wonderful to supply some starting points for when we're working on different styles of projects. As you can see here, we've got stuff for drums, piano, vocal, metronome, podcasting, mastering, uh, singer, songwriter, and then your vocal, guitar, bass, and drums. Let's take a look at that one. Let's see what that is. All right, and as we see, we've got some project notes that pop up here and talk about what this template is for and how you can use it. And I see that they've already got some preloaded plugins here on these tracks. So it kind of gives you a starting point for stuff with the native Mixcraft plugins. So we take a look here, we've got drums and a bass and the guitar. Okay, so say you guys wanted to make your own template and add a template in there. So let's start from new. Okay, so my defaults have this acoustic piano and then I've got a bunch of dis different tracks. It's the default open start for Mixcraft. So let's go ahead and we're gonna keep this one. It's already got this little piano here on it. If I wanted to change its color, we're gonna click here on this little color bar. Maybe I wanna be orange for my pianos. Let's label this one vocals. And we can select a different picture here if you wanted to have a different thing for vocals. So let's find a microphone. Oh, here we go. And maybe I wanna make this one yellow. And we'll make a quick one for guitar. And we'll, we'll leave guitar green. And let's make one for bass. And we'll make this blue. And let's make one for drums. And I'm going to make this one purple. And let's make one for percussion. Because a lot of times I will get shakers or tambourines and things like that. And I'll put those on there as well. So let's go and I saw one in here for shaker. Let's go grab it. And we'll make this one, how about this off red a little bit. I like my drums at the top. And then I put my bass guitar. And then I put my acoustic guitar, regular guitar, and oh, let's put percussion underneath the drums. All right, and then vocals are last. And so I know that a lot of times I will like to get like an EQ. And one of the fun things that we have available to us is we can get any of the other kinds of plugins we also own. So if we wanted to find a different EQ that we liked, so say if I wanted to use this REQ from Waves and I have my choice between stereo or mono, we'll just pick stereo right now. And so I'm gonna leave that there like that. Percussion will leave B. Maybe on guitar I would wanna, or bass guitar, I know I would wanna have some compression. So maybe I wanna go grab the R comp. And so bass we know is gonna be a mono track. So we're gonna put that on there. We'll leave piano and guitar for now. And then maybe vocals. We know that we wanna have maybe, I've got this SSL one instead. This is the vocal strip. So let's go ahead and pick this one. Of course, we would add some more things and you can have as many or as little VSTs as you want. You can have some of the native ones, a mix, a blend, however you wanna do that. Now, how we can save this as our own project template, if we click on file and we come down to save as, when we go save it, you see I've already made a file for my templates. So we're gonna click in here. I'm gonna name this. And then we get an option here to drop this down right here. And we have another option right here for Mixcraft template. So if you see that, we're gonna click that. And now you'll see where all the other ones also popped up that Mixcraft now just downloaded with the 10.5 update. So we're gonna save my template in there as well. And now we've done that. We're gonna make a new project. And then if we go over here and we see it now here, we can click on that. We're gonna click select. And there we are, we've made our own template. And you can make as many or, or as few of those as you want or start with the other starting points. All right, moving right along, we've got our next up thing, the Mixcraft store and points systems. So we've had some upgrades to the store. I noticed that we have a lot of different plugins that we can purchase now from the Mixcraft store directly. So if you've got some of your favorite plugins that you get, uh, you could also now find them on here. Some of the new manufacturers like the Baby Audio stuff, the Audio Crystalline, 
the great plugins. Some of these are just amazing that they're here available. Let me know what your thoughts are on having stuff available like this right from the, the DAW. I don't, uh, you know, a lot of people like them. I'm sure some people don't. I guess let us know in the comments what you think. And then I guess they also give you Mixcraft loyalty credits when you make purchases and through their store. I don't exactly know how that works. I haven't gotten anything more than the two bucks yet. So we'll have to see and I'll give you guys an update maybe in a few months to let you know how it goes. Next up, another great thing that they have supplied with the update is they have an entire new slew of control surfaces that they support. So we've got some of the Novations and the Mackies, and we've got quite a few other ones available now. Another update that we have to Mixcraft 10.5 is the stem separation tool. And uh, this sounds really awesome. The uses for this would be incredible because we would be able to take already made songs and make separate stems of them. Uh, they're saying that, yeah, it'll make a vocal track, a drum track, a guitar track, and all those separate tracks. We can even take some of our older recordings and then try to make separate stems of them, say if we were re-recording parts and stuff like that. So let's see and check out how this works. I've got a track here that I've dragged into this session and it is a stereo mix of a song called Households that I've gotten from Produce Like a Pro and Joe Carroll recorded this song. We're gonna see if the stem separation tool breaks this down into its separate categories. If we take a listen real fast. There's a Bible Cigarette. There's a photo on the fridge of a family that's perfect. So we've got some vocals and drums. There's some bass in there, piano. Definitely there's a good amount of instruments here. We can see what this will do. We're going to right click on the song and we're going to come down here into separate into stems and click on that. And it gives us some different options here. We know we have vocals drums, piano, other instruments, I guess, and bass. So we're gonna have it just break them down into all the separate ones. And then we're gonna make it in a new submix track. And then we're gonna mute the source clip, which what we're separating. So when it makes the new ones, they're gonna come down here on the bottom. Let's click on separate. It's gonna take a few minutes. As you see down here at the bottom, it says it's separating stems and the percentage. As you can see, it's broken down the song into multiple stems. We've got vocals, drums, bass, piano, and then other instruments. So let's take a listen here to see how it did. We're gonna listen to them first all together. There's a photo on the fridge of a family that's perfect. But the okay, so first impressions. I definitely can hear that there has been some adulterating to them. They do sound a little bit compressed, a little bit different than the original, but just ever so slightly. Uh, let's listen to them soloed. So let's listen to the vocal. This one would probably, in my opinion, be the most useful because uh, you could take tracks that you are making original things and you can maybe take the vocals out to train a new vocalist. Um, there's there's plenty of options of things that we can use them for. There's a Bible on the shelf by a new pack of cigarettes. There's a photo on the fridge of a family that's perfect. Definitely, I can hear some of the distortion and the processing for the breath of the reverb before she starts singing, but it's not unusable. It could be used and it could be cleaned up and definitely adjusted. Let's listen to the drums. Oh, definitely some compression distortion. I wonder if there's ways we can adjust those things later. Okay, let's check out the bass. Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely had some loss. Let me try to change bass into mono because that's typically how we would hear it. Yeah, definitely some artifacts and some loss there. Stories that can be sold.
But altogether, I mean, it definitely broke everything into stems if you're playing all the tracks together and then retracking things. And I can see where this would be a great useful training tool or teaching tool at the moment. I would love to see what this technology will do as it evolves. There are some other AI tools out there for separating full tracks into stems, and I can get into those in another video if anyone would like. Let me know in the comments, are you guys interested in AI tech for doing stem separation or any other kind of audio things for AI? Let me know, let us know in the comments. And finally, we have track regions for selecting, moving and copying and pasting sections of the project. And I guess what this is really cool for is keeping all your automation points and everything exactly where you want it. What we've done is I've gone through, I've made some cuts on all these at the end. I've just made some generic automation moves just for display purposes. And right here, I've got, this is where my cut is. To activate being able to utilize track regions for selecting, we need to enable our master track. So we're gonna click the master track button. As you can see, now we've got the master track up here. And we're gonna click on this little top thing right here on this top pink part. And I'm gonna actually right click split. And then if we grab onto that, you see how it's now grabbed everything in that section? We're gonna go ahead and we can move that down and you see how all of our little automation points stayed with it? Well, this will be real handy. So say you need to do a different outro and I wanted to move this one down and try a different one and test it out and maybe then, you know, delete some sections and then move it around. This just gives us a lot more functionality of being able to utilize Mixcraft in a whole other way than we were even using it before. So I love this. Great, great, great job on all the updates, Mixcraft. We love you. Thank you so much for all of your wonderful dedication to Mixcraft 10. So we're looking forward to seeing all the new updates. I definitely want to see that stem separation tool thing upgrade and see what it's going to turn into over the next few years. Thank you so much for tuning in for another Mixcraft 10 tutorial with Common Time Productions. <laughs> <laughs>